KE6VRJ here. Today we're going to talk about the THD74. Now a nice thing that actually uh, the first radio I had actually got stolen. So I got this radio replaced. It was very tough to get this radio replaced. And I got it replaced thanks to some real helpful guys over at Ham City in Gardena, California. And they had a used one, so I got a used one. They're selling like crazy. So it was very, very difficult to get a hold of one. Part of the reason is why I'm giving a whole in-depth tutorial about this radio. It's a great little radio. It's a lot of fun. And this video is about APRS. And what I want to cover on this is how you can actually just make minimal settings because I was curious when I first got the radio and turned it on, I wanted to test it out on APRS just to see what happens. So I found a way to just minimal settings. Uh, I, you know, there are settings with beacons and the amount of time and everything. You're gonna like this. It's just very basic so you can set it up and it just, it just runs. I, I was amazed myself too. So the first step is how to reset your D74. Just so you know, now with YouTube, you're gonna see a table of contents on this and on the bottom of your mobile app, if you're watching this mobile or on your computer, on the bottom, you'll see where you can touch with the mouse or you can actually, actually go through and navigate. I'm gonna title them and this title is going to be how to reset the THD74. So this is how you actually do, because I'm gonna reset the radio just so you can see what it does. So what you do, it's very simple. You hold F down and power, power it up. This is the power button. And I'm gonna power it up and you keep holding it until it gives you a menu. So check this out, let's see. I'm gonna leave it down there. So now you get a menu. You can reset the VFO, partial reset. I'm gonna do a full reset. You can either hit OK or Enter. Let's see what it does. Are you sure? So I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit, uh, actually on this I am going to hit OK because it may go back. Let's see what it does. There we go. Does it reset? Looks like it does. There. So it reset. So what I'm going to do, here are the steps to do the most basic setup for APRS on this radio. And I mean cut down basic. It's not even gonna beacon. I'll show you how you do that. You manually do it. It's very simple. Go to the menu and then choose APRS and you move these buttons around using this little joystick on here. Then hit enter. Just use basic settings, the first one. Hit enter. Most important thing, put in your call sign. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in my call sign. And then I'm going to call it just two dash is on this one. And then the next one I'm going to hit is two there. And then you can either hit enter there. KE6 VRK dash two. That's all I set. I'm not going to set any other thing on here. That's all I'm going to set. I'm not going to worry about all this is, is uh, standard. Just so you know, default the a is the band you use to set the frequency. That's it, that's all I said. Okay, now I'm going to go back. I'm gonna hit menu again. On A, make sure you go to A. And on this, where's the dual? That's B, A. Make sure you set A at 144, whoops, sorry about that to other radios. When you do this radio, you hit enter and then you type in the frequency. 144.390. This is in the United States. So now you're at 144.390 and I turn the, uh, the volume down because you'll get a bunch of interference. The next step is just turn on APRS. You see it here on number five? 
This radio actually has all the functions on this, on this pad, so it's really nice. I will give you another uh, video on that. Let's turn on EPRS, so hit function, and then just hit EPRS. Now you'll see APRS 12 on the top. APRS is now on. And the GPS may have kicked in. Let's see if it did. APRS is on. That's all you need to do. So I'm going to go to my position. Does it do anything? Not yet. It'll do something in a little bit. However, what you can do, let's test this out. There, it's flashing. That's pretty fast, and I'm in I'm in the uh, the place here. I'm amazed. Okay, I reset everything, so let's do a message. Let's hit message. It says no data. That's okay, and then hit menu, and let's uh, make one new, and then hit enter because you want to choose where you're sending it to. Let's use uh, WX bot. That's, that's a good one to use. So we can do W, X, B, O, T. That's it. And then hit enter. And on this, you move it down, hit enter. And you just put in a zip code. It's just the weather bot. So you can pick whatever zip code you want. I don't know if you want to do San Diego. Just 9 to... One, did I do one? Yeah, whoops, there we go, I missed it. Nine, two, one, one, zero. It'll do any zip code, any, any one in the United States. There, now you've picked the zip code. Then you hit this one for send. Now this depends if I am close to these, the station, it helps to beacon this thing. Not receiving anything. Maybe it'll get something. Let me angle the antenna a little bit up. I'm gonna beacon again. It's getting something. Well, if we were outside, that's what it will do. It'll actually go through. And let me actually test this. Actually, yeah, that should work. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna just push beacon again because this is all default settings, remember. So let me see what it does. There, I actually got, there, the message was actually sent. So let's see what it does. There. I got it. I got a message back. Let's see what it did. So on this, if you hit message, then you hit one. We got a little bit of a, a garbled message, but I got a message back from, uh, I got a message back from Weatherbot. So that's actually working. So you hit message. Here's the one I sent. Let's see, does it go up? Yeah. And then that's what I received. Unfortunately, something got uh, garbled on it, but the APRS is actually running. So if I hit this beacon and send something again, see, it sends my position. So it's working. That's it. The I think the default for this, when you hit uh, a beacon, when you don't set the beacon, I think it's every 30 minutes. But if you want to just send it manually, you just push beacon. So that's a really fast video on how you very minimally, very, very minimally, how you set up APRS. And that'll get you on APRS if you just pick up the radio. Notice I have nothing programmed down here. It's actually all on BFO. So I just wanted to let you know, and this is uh, KE6VRK, and if you like the if you like the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up, and also feel free to give us a thumbs up, and also feel free to subscribe to the channel.
So remember, 73s from KE6VRK.